Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be for the 8th, had to think then, 8th to the 14th of November 2021, so I hope you're well. Let's get straight into your reading and see what we have for you for the week. It is for seven days only and remember it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you as well Taurus. Okay. Let's see what we have. Message for Taurus. So we have, ask your angels. So there will be a need to ask your angels. And we have, listen to your intuition. I mean, this is divine assistance and guidance here. Our intuition is how spirit guides us forward. It's our inner knowing and it's generally that quiet voice that stays with us that truth that stays with us, that we feel instinctively guided, you know, to act on. Okay, what do we have for Taurus, please? So I have compassion, some level of compassion being shown this week, or compassion is required. Let's see what that is about. I'm going to use the Tarot of Dreams, and if we cl clarify, it will be with... The Tarot Grand Lux. Quite a used deck, this one. <laughs> I've used it so much, but I love it. Okay, card has turned over Taurus. So we have Strength. When do we need Strength? It generally is to face fears, to face challenge, to face adversity. It requires us to be in our power and have courage. Sometimes to face things that aren't always easy. We have Empress energy, your energy, but it's in a challenge position. That's Taurus or Libra. Nine of Pentacles. Is the advice from Spirit. The Five of Cups is your near future outcome. Seven of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Cups with the Six of Cups. The Eight of Wands is bottom of the deck. Five, six, seven of Cups here. So for some of you, It feels like steps are being taken this, this, this week in some way. Someone's taking steps towards you or you're taking steps towards something here. And do listen to your intuition in regard to this. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to clarify. Clarify the strength card, please. What does Taurus need the strength card for? To do with communication that's coming your way. To face something. And it's to do with communication coming your way. And we have that here in the near future. Clarify that Wheel of Fortune. It feels like someone's coming back round again. The Death Card. <laughs> yeah. It is an energy. It feels like unfinished business here. Something that ended is coming back round again, is what I'm getting here. And it's, it's in the form of some kind of communication, Taurus. It might well be for some of you. I mean, the, the, the Wheel of Fortune... It feels like unfinished business in the sense that it's, it, something may have ended and it might well be for some of you that some, someone is coming back that requires compassion 
you, there is certainly a need to be strong and being your strength to face this. And it feels like it's bringing this, whatever ended around to be evaluated in some way. It could be unfinished business in the sense that finally allows you to release from something that maybe you never released from before, or it can be to give you the opportunity to reevaluate it in some way, I feel. Is what I'm getting. Interesting reading. Clarify this Five of Cups. Yeah. Judgment. And the King of Coins, which is Taurus for me as a reader, male or female energy. Yeah, a choice will need to be made whether you forgive somebody or not. It, it feels in this energy something's coming back round again. They're asking for compassion. The cards have fallen on the floor one second. Okay. Let's clarify that Six of Cups. Card. Taurus, this can also be an energy of someone's working up the courage. Someone's working up the courage to approach you. I feel they will. You know, this is either you needing to be strong or someone's working up the courage here to face the Empress because the Empress energy is you, male or female. We have your minor arcana and we have your major arcana in this reading. So there is a really empowered energy, even if the Empress is in the challenge position. It is an empowered energy, the Empress energy. Because she, in a way, determines the birth of something new. So that's hanging in the balance because it's in the challenge position. This is an energy here, Taurus, of there is communication out of the blue. And it's to do with a connection from the past in some way. I, you know, this could be in terms of love. This could be a family member. This could be a friendship. But I feel in this situation there was unfinished business for some reason. And this is an energy sometimes to, I feel on one level, someone might be working up the courage to face you. I feel it's going to take some courage here because they're asking for some compassion here and I do feel it's it's them. Obviously roles can always be vice versa. But there's also this energy here of the strength to face to face something and make decisions that are influenced by karma in some way. So sometimes these cards are asking us to, if a decision is to be made, it is an energy of appreciating, and I'm not saying it's for everybody this, sometimes we have a part to play in why something ended. It might not just be on the other person, sometimes it is, but sometimes it might not be. And it's having the strength to, to face things that are not easy to face in that situation and be real and be truthful and be honest. And I feel that's what Spirit is saying here. We have the Empress energy, Empress energy with the Seven of Cups. So there's a choice to make, but someone's really confused. It is Cups energy, which is to do with emotions and feelings. And the Empress is generally the birth of something new. And it represents the creation of something new. Very good in terms of love areas, um, you know, abundant areas. Very good in terms of pregnancy. But I feel in this energy, this is about somebody who's coming back, asking to reconnect with you. And maybe asking for some kind of absolution in some way. They, there's regret here in this situation and there's a judgment call to make. 
It's been brought back, brought back round to you for a reason by the Wheel of Fortune. Something that you thought was ended, maybe for some of you. The universe is saying this needs to be reevaluated, either to end once and for good and release from it, because that's what judgment will bring into you, or to give you the opportunity of considering new possibilities. So it feels for some of you, there's a significant energy of someone's coming back round again. We have the Nine of Pentacles here. I mean, I feel this is your energy here, Taurus. There is certainly an energy of somebody who stands in their own success, in their own abundance, their own self-worth, self-esteem. I mean, it feels really beautiful here. I mean, for some of you, it might well be, if, I mean, even on a work situation, there could be communication out of the blue. It could be from someone you worked with from the past or somewhere you worked from the past. And maybe things didn't end well. So again, on that level, for some of you, it might well be that there's some communication here. But I kind of feel it's a bit more to do with heart energy, whether it's to do with friendship, family, love. The Six of Cups, again, the Strength card. So this is an energy of the strength to face. I feel in this situation, someone who's coming back from the past. Now, again, I feel they might be getting up some courage here to return. I feel that there's a return. There's definitely a return energy here or a connection to the past in some way. We have the Five of Cups, regret, looking back, difficulty moving on, feeling down about it. And sometimes that can be to do with desires when we want to change the past. I wish I'd done that. I wish I hadn't done that. I regret doing that. I regret saying that. But obviously you can't change the past when it's out there, it's out there. And the universe is still saying, they are still hoping that they can bring a happy equilibrium back to whatever this relationship is with you. The, the, the Taurus card, the King of Coins, is somebody, who, I feel this is to do with you. And you judging whether this is of value in your life or not, it feels that kind of energy here. I feel you're, you're enjoying, I mean, for some of you, you may well be single, you may well be independent. This is an energy of, I'm standing in my self-worth, my abundance, I'm standing in my own success, I'm feeling attractive, I'm looking good, I'm feeling empowered. It's all that kind of energy of something's coming back round. I feel there's this kind of ending that's being brought back round for some reason to make some kind of final judgment call, final judgment call. So there's certainly an energy here that it probably won't come round again. This is the opportunity to make some kind of significant decision or choice. I feel to do with someone coming back from the past. And the message is choose wisely because the decision that you make will stay with you for quite some time, if not permanently. There is something, some communication coming out of the blue here. Okay, let's get some advice. Let's get some advice. Any advice for Taurus, please? What advice can you give Taurus? Finish off the reading. The Knight of Cups. You know, if this is you, make the offer. If this is someone coming towards you, listen to the offer or take note of the offer. The, the Knight of Cups is an offer of love. Someone opening up, wearing the heart on their sleeve. Could be offering love again in some form. The World card. It feels stepping through to a new phase of, you know, stepping through to a new phase of your life in some way, drawing a line in the sand under what's gone on before and overcoming the challenge and claim of, claiming a victory over it, so moving on from it. It feels in this energy, Taurus, somebody wants to make peace. Someone wants to bring 
a successful conclusion, not necessarily an ending here, but a successful conclusion by offering love, could be in, a, in the form of an apology, could be somebody opening their heart to you. I mean, obviously, the offer of love could be different for each of you, but it's heartfelt energy here, some kind of heartfelt offer. Uh, I definitely feel for some of you, they've worked up the courage to face you, to come to you. And again, this can be vice versa, but I think it's to bring some successful conclusion and put it behind you and bring equilibrium back. Let's um, get one more card, any other message? Okay, so yeah, we've got the Six of Cups. I feel this is somebody from the past. The amount of sixes in this reading as well. Six is all about equilibrium and harmony, and I think that's someone's desire. They want, they want equilibrium and harmony, and they want to approach this situation, I feel in the right way, to bring a successful conclusion to something that needed to be re-looked at, or well, the universe certainly deemed it needed to be re-looked at, reviewed again, to bring some kind of successful conclusion to this phase. It, it, I mean, certainly the energy is Taurus, the advice from spirit is something between you needs to be overcome to restore some kind of happy equilibrium here. And there is the offer coming in. You're being told to either make it or consider it to bring some kind of successful conclusion to whatever happened between you. Yeah, okay. That's what I have for you. Final message for Taurus, please. Final message for Taurus. We have tree wisdom. This tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sounds it makes. I mean, it's a really lovely reading, Taurus. It feels quite hopeful, even though it feels for some of you, it certainly is in this energy. There is some judgment call to make, but that the universe is bringing something back round to you to be reevaluated. And therefore you're being told to consider whether you can overcome and draw a successful completion or bring a successful completion to this and restore some happy equilibrium in your life or between the two of you. It might well be for some of you, this can be starting again, starting with a fresh slate in love, starting a new friendship, starting a new relationship and putting the difficulty behind you. So I, I feel for some of you, you're being told to, it's being brought back round for a reason. That's what I have for you. Won't be for everybody. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you do, please do like, share and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you.